Laura and Errol are beginning to feel crushed on the emotional weight of staying in their home. Coming home here is just, it's just not the same. What is with this furniture? It's so brown. We need to lighten up. Emotions run high when you're selling, because you're not just letting go of a piece of property, but a piece of your own history. So you have to do everything in your power to make your home desirable to someone else, the buyer. Now, my mission is to give concrete skills to homeowners, to get them through the emotional minefield that is selling, and to turn their unsellable houses into really hot properties. It's listed at $649,000, which is on target, so this house should have been snapped up. But it's been on the market for six weeks. The homeowners, Laura and Errol, are beginning to feel crushed under the emotional weight of staying in their home. They need to move on, and they've asked me to show them how to get that fresh start. We bought the house originally because it was in our price range, number one. Number two, we didn't really have to renovate anything at the time. We were saying to each other, I can't believe these it's, old houses are our, built yeah. amazing. So can't sound hear this, can't hear anything. Nothing. Another family with two little kids moved in, and all of a sudden we heard screaming kids. In Needless the to say, it's not so soundproof. It's my ex-husband's um, cousins who have moved in next door. Very nice people, but wow, of all people to be my next door neighbors attached to me, it's just a little weird. Coming home here is just, it's just not the same. That's why it's time. 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 Certainly time now. Definitely time. So why have Laura and Errol not found a buyer? This is a great neighbourhood. I think I need to get inside and find out more. I swore I saw a stained glass window when I was walking up. There it is. Why would you box up a selling feature? It's very dark in here. They've got their television blocking all the light. Very dark furniture. And the only painting on the wall is a picture of a chocolate Labrador. Oh, I think those are ashes. And that could be a little awkward when it comes to talking to the homeowner. They pushed their dining room table right up against the wall. It should be centered under this chandelier. If you've got a chandelier at this height and you've got people viewing, bam, headbutt it. And that's not the way to sell a house. From the dark into the light. It's very, very, very white in here. A little bit of colour in this kitchen, I think, would really lift it. But having said that, it's clean, it's got quite a lot of prep space. The thing I love about this kitchen, though, is the nice big windows, and they're not covered up. It's definitely a doggy theme in this house. Yet again, they have covered up the windows with curtains and a bed. Weird 70s lights. And what is with this furniture? It's so brown. This room has so much potential, but it's such a disappointment. This house is too dark and it's too drab. The natural light can't get through the windows because they're obscured by heavy drapes. The furniture is too chunky and is too dark. And the colour scheme, every imaginable shade of brown, 
They've turned this house into a mausoleum, and believe me, no one is going to pay $649,000 to live in a tomb. That is why this house is unsellable. I love this house. I love the yard, I love the neighbourhood, and we're sitting out here because it's so nice and bright, because the inside of your house feels like a tomb. You block every window up with either a drape or a piece of furniture. Why? You're looking completely starved. <laughs> <laughs> and there's kids sometimes playing in the street, so I, that's why that yeah. one's blocked. But when you've got viewings, you want to let as much light into the house as possible. I got really excited when I was walking up to the front of the house. I saw the stained glass window. I was like, oh, some period details. You've blocked off the stained glass window with the cupboard. That was actually done before we moved in. OK, yeah. well then, and uh, we... you, you are not to blame. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's <laughs> a shame about your sitting room. You've got this very, very dark furniture and you're blocking the light through the windows. Having a sort of shrine to your beautiful chocolate lab is understandable, but it's not necessarily the best things to woo the buyers when they first walk in. Since the dog passed away, we, we, we've kind of lost our, our enthusiasm. Mm. Uh, in the house. When you're asking the asking price that you are, everything's got to be top-notch. I think we could just brighten it up a bit. Especially in the bedroom. That could be a really special master bedroom. But again, it's like, how many shades of brown are there? I would agree with that. So what I want to see is this house looking bright, inviting, cottage charm, and then it is going to wow the I buyers. Agree. I agree. Yeah. But you need yeah. to be ready to put Kylie aside for the moment and move on so we can get you in a new house. I think we're ready. We're ready. We're certainly ready. Fantastic. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm excited. We're excited too. <laughs> This neighbourhood is really popular, so Laura and Errol's three-bedroom Edwardian semi should have been snapped up as soon as it came on the market. But six weeks and no offers? I want to speak to Stephen, the real estate agent, and ask him why he thinks this house isn't selling. Stephen, how does that work, being in a professional relationship? It's hard because they don't always listen to me and that's why we're having a problem selling it now. What advice did you give? And to lighten it up, mm -hmm. because the furniture is very 80s, dark, yeah. heavy, brown, cave-like furniture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they left it the way it was. What has the feedback from potential buyers been? Great mm -hmm. house, great location, but too dark. Did you give that information to Laura and Errol? I did, but she doesn't listen. I don't understand really why they haven't done anything about it. I think it might be because they're slightly depressed after the death of their dog. I told her if she opened the drapes, she'd feel better. What have you done to market this house? We've had a couple of open houses. Mm -hmm. um, I've had five or six couples through also yeah. to look at the house. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't had my agent's open house uh, lunch yet because she wouldn't allow me to. Whoa, hold <laughs> up, hold on. You can't have the agents around for lunch because Laura won't yeah. allow you? She wanted me to respect her privacy, but that doesn't sell a house. <laughs> you can't sell a house by hiding it, you know. Right. Now the asking price. 649, yes. realistic? It's right on the ball. If we get the condition up to scratch and the price is right, do you think we'll have a quick sale? Uh, definitely. What immediately strikes you about this room? I like the brick. Exposed brick. <laughs> you like the brown. Yeah. The only piece of brown <laughs> in the house. And you go for it. Other than the brown wall. It's very bright. It's bright and the furniture is placed artistically. But there's nothing on the walls. Like, the walls are kind of plain. And there's no window coverings. They don't really need window coverings, because if you look, there ain't no one to look at you. That's oh. true. Look at that light coming through. You can see the trees outside. What have we learned from this room, folks? Keep the windows exposed. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, this is really nice. Really nice kitchen. Your yeah. kitchen is fantastic. It just needs one more little push to increase the interest. Yeah, our kitchen is very stark. Just that addition of the sparkling backsplash and mm -hmm. this kind of almost washed down pistachio colour right. mm -hmm. adds a tiny bit of warmth 
and interest. And no, it's bright. Yeah. Yes. Our kitchen's bright too, though. Yeah. No tomb in the kitchen. No. <laughs> no, no. No, definitely no tomb in the kitchen. Do you want to come have a look at the bedroom? Sure. Great. Brilliant. Oh, this is nice. This is very cool. What do you immediately notice again when you walk in here? Very bright. Very bright. All the design elements tie in here. Dark doesn't sell, bright does. This house sold in 15 days for 99% of the asking price. Wow. wow. So just by opening the curtains in your house, by toning down the dark, heavy furniture, and by painting it bright colours, you will instantly have a much more sellable home. Yeah, I get that. So now you really, really understand what I'm talking about? Yes. I, yes, absolutely. We need to lighten up. I've been bullying Errol and Laura about how dark this house is and how we've got to brighten it up. How are we going to go about that? We're going to remove the mirrored doors in the front foyer, open it up, and we'll build a bench with some storage and some coat hooks for jackets and stuff okay. like that. Okay. What we want to do is see that beautiful stained glass window, Fair which enough. buyers will be looking forward to seeing. Yeah, it's a great feature. You mm. might as well show it off. Upstairs in the master bedroom, you have a very old track lighting. We'll update it with some modern halogens. I agree with that. We're going to paint out the whole entire front porch and pretty much the whole main floor of the house. We need to maximize the space and the light in this house. And that will involve changing the window treatments, changing up some of the furniture, using a bright, light colored paint. Okay. But we do need your help, so um, maybe we can get to the demolition. You trust his handiwork? <laughs> He's going to be supervised, so it's going to be all good. Wow, you're so nice and neat. Let there be light. Ta -da. Big difference actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's Kylie in a box. Three months has passed since, you know, Kylie has left us, so coming into the house was very gloomy. Having her right here every time we walked into the house, it was a reminder every day, so it's good that we're moving her. Are we expecting a hurricane or something? Um, well, no. The tape is just in case I lift the mirror off and the mirror breaks, it'll right. help uh, keep the pieces intact. You do know if you break a mirror, it's seven years bad luck. I gotta lift it there. It'll just come out of the track. And you just unscrew the and track? And then you just unscrew the top track and the bottom track after uh -huh. and that's it. What are we doing with the flooring? It's definitely different. It is different. Um, by the time I build the bench, it'll be, I'll build the bench out to the, where the track is now so that we'll cover the floor and it won't be an issue. Fantastic. Let the light through. Let the light through. People, let the light through. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Okay. I hope you've switched the electricity off. I don't want to have to peel you off the floor. <laughs> yes, it's off. I wouldn't be touching the wires otherwise. Now, there are quite a few wires there. How do you know which wire goes with which wire? Well, um, usually you would just connect white to white, which is neutral mm -hmm. to neutral. Yeah. Black is hot, mm -hmm. black to black. And then ground to ground is green, usually. Those are a vast improvement on these. <laughs> yes. Yeah, speaker phones or something. <laughs> Anthony, when are you finished? <laughs> Um, so once we've done this, and I've finished reading my interesting magazine about the rich and famous, what have we got to do next? Just some painting downstairs. Carry on, Anthony. Oh, thank you. It's so hot up here. Well, it's nice and cool down here. Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying that. I am, I am. Now, are you going to be very well behaved with your delightful real estate agent, Stephen, and let him do an agent's lunch here? 
Yes, of course. I love Stephen. Good, because he said you were resistant want. to the idea. Oh, I see. Stephen spilled the beans on me. Stephen has so spilled the beans. Oh, terrible. Yes, he can do that. What I want to do is I want to take it apart, but I want to keep as many pieces intact. I'm going to take the lid up and I'm just going to unscrew the hinges from the actual frame. And then after that, I'm going to take the doors off and then the rest of the structure should just unscrew and we can transport it to the backyard. Awesome job. All right, great. Thanks for your help. <laughs> <laughs> These oil diffusers are a great alternative to the chemical sprays and plug-ins. They last forever, they cost next to nothing, and they smell really great. Pretty view, comfy chair, good book. This is the perfect place for a reading nook. Fresh flowers are great, but they're expensive and they don't last forever. Artificial ones can look fake, but if you combine artificial flowers and real foliage, you've got yourself an authentic looking bouquet. Just remember to add water. It is hard to believe we're in the same house. It's a transformation that should bring the target market of young families and couples in droves and give Laura and Errol their fresh start. Open the blinds, draw the curtains, and let the light in. It will make your house feel bigger, warmer, and believe me, buyers do not want to live in a bunker. If you're selling a period property, highlight the architectural details. Don't hide the stained glass window or box in the fireplace, because it's more than likely these details that will sell your house. Don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. Listen to your real estate agent, because they're the expert. Disregarding their advice could cost you the sale. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, that piece. That's from out here. That's right. Oh, that looks really good there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look at the, the light. Yeah, that looks stunning. That nice is color. change from the white. Wow. Wow. This is really nice. We gotta find a house. <laughs> we gotta find a house. Because this is going to sell wow. now. Someone else is gonna love this. How can they not? I love it. Can we soundproof these walls? <laughs> I really like how it's all open. Mm -hmm. This is a fantastic house for entertaining. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. So far, how many houses of the houses you've seen are possibilities? There was one, but I like this one better. You like this one yeah. better? That's really exciting. That was beautiful. I mean, what kind of house are you looking for? Do you like the period houses? I like a house of character, and this seems to have it. This is very nice. Oh, this is cute. It, it is. It's a nice size. Oh, oh, wow, look at this. You've got this beam. Oh, this is beautiful. I think it's so cute. There's so much character for such an old home. So would you consider coming back for a second viewing? Definitely. Never underestimate the power of emotion when you're selling your house. Buyers are looking for a fresh start, so your house has to offer them that new and bright future. Now, Laura and Errol's dark and dreary house is this bright and airy cottage, and I would love to see it sold. Look how much bigger this room is. I know. Yep. Oh, awesome. Yay. Nice. It's amazing what just paint does. Wow. Wow. The wow. Bed looks the bed looks huge here. This looks Look at the awesome. lights. The lights, oh, so much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a hotel. It does. Can we get turned down service? <laughs> With a mint on the pillow? <laughs>